This is F1, June 2016, question 4. And we have this matrix here. It says, given that these are eigenvectors, find the corresponding eigenvalues. So we need to do 11, 2, 8, 2, 2, minus 10, 8, minus 10, 5. And multiply out this then by our eigenvector. And if we multiply this out, we would have 11 minus 4 minus 16, which gives us minus 9. If we multiply our second line, we're going to get 18. Multiply our third line, we also get 18. Um, this is obviously some sort of multiple of this, and we can see that this multiplied by minus 9 gives us that, so our eigenvalue for that one then is minus 9. For the second one, it's 2 minus 1, 2. If we multiply that out, our first value is 36. Our second value, multiplying this by this, is minus 18, and our third one then is again, as you guessed, 36. So this then has been multiplied by 18, so our second can value then is 18. Part 2, given that the third eigenvalue is 9, find a corresponding unit eigenvector. So that means we're going to have some eigenvector, x, y, z. And whenever I multiply that out, it gives me 9 upon x, y, z. Multiplying this, these out, we get 11 x plus 2 y plus 8 z equals 9 x. Our second one is 2 x plus 2 y minus 10 z is 9 y. Our final one is 8 x minus 10 y plus 5 z equals 9 z. If I rearrange these, and take them over to the other side. I of course get 2x plus 2y plus 8z equals 0. Here I get 2x minus 7y minus 10z is 0. And here I get 8x minus 10y and 5z taken away minus 4z equals 0. As per usual, I'm going to number those 1, 2, and 3. And the x is the same here, so I'm going to do this, subtract this. So I'm going to do 1, take away 2. Uh, 2y minus minus 7y is going to give me 9y. And uh, let's take away this, which is, sorry, plus 18z equals 0. And rearrange them now, I'm going to get y is minus 2z. If I substitute then my value for y back into this, I will get 8x, subbing this into 3, plus 20z minus 4z is 0. That gives me 8x equals. So 8x is then minus 16z, and so then x, like y, is minus 2z. So our eigenvector then is going to be of the form minus 2z, minus 2z, so that's x, that's y, and then z is obviously just z. So a possible eigenvector we're going to take is then minus 2, minus 2, and 1. They have asked us for the unit eigenvector, so 
2 squared is 4, 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9, the square root of 9 is 3, so our unit eigenvector then is going to be minus 2 over 3, minus 2 over 3, and 1. The final part they ask us for then, if you use a 3 by 3 matrix, so it's a ut mu equals d, where d is a diagonal matrix, write down a possible matrix u and the corresponding matrix d. What we need to do here for a matrix U is find the unit eigenvector for this, the unit eigenvector for this, and we've found it for a third one, and then our matrix D is simply our three eigenvalues diagonally in from there. So that's our third one there, so it's, that's going to be our right hand side, minus two thirds, minus two thirds, one. Uh, our first two are going to be one third minus two-thirds, minus two-thirds, and our middle one is going to be two-thirds, minus a third, two-thirds. So that is our matrix U, and our corresponding then matrix D. This one, the eigenvalue was minus nine, This one, the eigenvalue was 18, and then this final one, the eigenvalue was 9. So that's then our matrix D.